Welcome back, everybody. How are you guys today? Welcome. I hope you are having a great day, evening or night, whenever you are watching this reading. This is a general reading. This is also 21 plus. Raw, uncut, unfiltered, unbiased reader. I have no idea what the messages will be before the messages come out. So please take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. Suggestions, questions, and comments can be left in the comments section below. <clears throat> this is a general plus a collective. It will not resonate with every single one of you. And if it does not resonate, check out some of the other videos in the playlist. Along with subscribe, like, share. Hit that bell notification along with the thumbs up. Hey, 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 y'all. How are you guys today? Let's come into the energy. I'm bringing in those extraterrestrial energies. I'm bringing them back. This is the second time I'm using these cards um, in the energy. So I have no clue what's going to come out today. So <laughs> just bear with you. But the energy, okay? On as above and so below, we have ask any, take and stop, as, long, as well as how and his. So as above could be asking the above questions, and below you could be doing anything, okay, in the energy, okay? Under the energy of things that make you laugh out loud. Sometimes the things that make you laugh will also be the things that make you cry. With the disappointment here. And it might be something that's going to surprise somebody. Because somebody might have got bored. In the energy. Okay. Somebody might have got bored here. And it was on their time. You know. Listen. Sometimes. <laughs> things that you think. Alright. So now that we know. In this energy. With this deck specifically. Okay. This energy. If you are lower than a 4D. In your energy. You will not be made able to understand these messages, okay? These are might be a download to somebody. This might be an ascension for somebody. This might be some, um, um, like I said, metaphor, simile, figurative, in and out of context, um, in the energy, folklore as well. <clears throat> so when I pull these, I have not sh shuffled these cards. These cards are all in order. This will be the only, this is the second time, like I said, I use this deck. Okay, so I'm just going to give them a quick shake and, you know, see what comes out. That star seed is back. We had that the last time. We have an eternal, return, return energy. We have the vegans in the energy. And we have Venus in Venus Venusians. Venusians. I don't know. I sound like I'm talking another language. I don't know. And then they got the Argarthians. Now listen, y'all. I told y'all like play with these these um aliens and stuff. Getting getting out here in these out here in these galaxies out here. I don't want to put my deck too far. They want me to keep it close. Okay. Alpha Santarsinians. Oh, all right. So now listen, y'all. I might mess up some of these names till we get them right. Alpha Centurions. Okay. This is foresight, planning, and strategy. All right. Now listen. <laughs> All right, and we got seahorses there. I got to pay close attention to this stuff because this is also downloads that I'm getting with this new energy. And I'm really challenging myself today with this energy because this energy is very, 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 very new to me in the energy, okay? Asking anything out in the galaxies. We out here, I'm somewhere I don't know. Let's just, you know, we've been doing karmics and, and masculines and feminines. This going to be y'all energy, but they're going to take me to the galaxies and back to, to give me the messages for you in this energy. Because we went to Venusians, Venus Seans, Star Seeds, Vegans, and Garth, Argarthians. Manifesting multi-dimensional multi perception attunement. 
a venusians, romance, soulmates, and empathy, vegans, solitude, independence, and peace, star seeds, self, memories, and I, I, identity. Okay, that's what they talking about. Right, that's what they talking about. Y'all got me scratching my head all right. Things that you, things that make you laugh out loud. This thing, same thing that make you laugh out loud. Now remember, when we came into the energy before, we came into the energy that, you know, <clears throat> we had men in black the last time. We had a couple of different ones. So let's see, y'all. I'm going to just check it out, y'all. Check it out. Check it out, right? Check it out. We're going to go to the star seed. Check it out. See what they talk about. And then we're going to... We're going to leave that alone. We're going to come back and we're going to tell you what it is. I'm going to throw some tarot, see what it say, and I'm going to give it to you like they say. I got a lot of stuff. Alpha Centurions, Lovers, The Star, The Death, The Moth to the Flame. I got The Silver Waterfall with The Rainbow. Sorry about the glare, y'all. I apologize. I'm working on the light, and y'all just bear with me. But I got messages, so I can't. And then I got the masculine right underneath, y'all. And I got worriness. So it's a lot of information coming in. Next chapter, talk about the six of wands coming in. We got the horn cactus in the energy. So it's a lot of information I need to get out to you so that you know. Let's talk about time for action with the action in the energy at the top of the deck and attraction. So you attracted to this stuff, whatever it is, it's drawn to you. It's like a repellent or you are aphrodisiac to it. Listen now, I don't know. Shape shiftings. We got yaks out here. Wow. Why is for wild yak? Wild, masculine, hunter, gather, provider, nurturer, supporter, and inspiration. There's also yanking my chain, yuck, and yam. Okay? <laughs> and a guana right underneath. BDSM and a crab. And glory hole. Behind that. Wow. And then we got empowerment and exposing and revealing. E exposed and revealed. All right, y'all. Now, that's what they talking about. Now, that's what's on my table right now. That's what we got. That's the message that they sent. And now I'm going to tell you what they say. Okay. Now, star seeds. Start with 37 in the energy. 37 might resonate with you. <clears throat> That's 10. That's a completion there. That's one. That's a that's like magician. Now vegan is a five. 23 is five. That's a change. So you change the lifestyle. This or a lifestyle change. Venus with the number six. Romance, soulmates, and empathy. Okay? That's the energy they talk about. Venusians. Venusians. Number one in the energy. I am number one. Talk about self. One, our Garthians. Now, this is where fruit is. They got a lot of fruit in this energy. Now, they living in outer space, but they got berries, strawberries in them baskets. Beans right there, peas or something. They dress like us. They look like she got on a track suit and a hoodie. It's elephants back there. So they didn't blend it right in. They look like you and me. That's what they said. They come and make romance with you. There you go. Somebody in energy. Shape shifter. Cute little girl with a nice pretty bun on her hair. And a guy that look like those guys I see from um, <clears throat> Tokyo. Or Hong Kong. Like, I can't think they call them like the Y kids or the Y2K kids or something like that. They like um, dolls, like, look, the doll look. They track the type of uh, guy, too. And then we got an African family. We got our, you know, our Nubian families here. See, they gave us a diverse of people that they follow. Okay? 
people with the king and queen crown originals they're going back to roots of the of um of the egyptians and then we got the star c here memory so this is remembering remind remember so now they be taking a time and a place all right y'all i just had to see what my intuitiveness come with that before we get to the book and see what they say these ets is out here you know ets et phone home from here because they probably trying to get back and they get here and get trapped so i don't know what they're talking about y'all let's talk about it though i'm ready I had to get my energy balanced. The karmic energy is too low vibration. They told me it got to be 4D and above. Now, they said because we shifted under the sun and the moon and the energy had to tr go to a different frequency. And the frequency came out yesterday, y'all. Y'all be sitting here listening to these messages about the masculine. There are also downloads is in those codings that they talk about. I'm just delivering the message. I tell y'all I am the messenger. So if you hear something, pay attention to the stuff that I say because those things are also carry blessings, messages, decoding messages, multidimensional. They talked about it here. Manifest and multidimensional perceptions. And that's what they're talking about here. When you see something, the person telling you something and you only listening to one portion of what the person said, only what you you want to hear and that's the problem that some people might have and they want me to say that today okay somebody might hear things that they you know only what they want to hear and missing the point in which the conversation is going they're going deep here today y'all they're going very deep 37 this is talking about um many star seeds have an inner awareness level of consciousness developed outside of the per Predictable mainstream narratives. The star seeds are typically spiritual in nature and have healing energies. Some are very new souls on earth, while others are very old souls and have experienced many contracts incarnations on earth to evolve and pass on ancient um, esoteric wisdom. The newer souls will be continued the old soul's work different star seeds will naturally resonate toward different aliens and galactic alliances it is not uncommon for awakening star seeds to have dreams memories of traveling et crafts or experiences of ufo encounters Star seeds are here now to assist in transitioning the activation of the collective consciousness on earth. This card means you, self, identi identity, memories, selfhood, and me. On the flip, it means loss of identity, identity confusion, Clinging to another outer identity too much to I to, de to define self. Thank you. And then we got Venus um, 24, number six. Mathematical things is coming into play. Decoding and coding. Da Vinci's code is in the message, in the energy. Um, numbers will mean things. N angel numbers will mean things. Addresses will mean things. The Venusians are humanoid ETs that live on the Venus sister planet within the solar system. Venusians are descendants from the Liker race. Venus is hot, extremely hot, and on the third dimension realms, uninhibitable by human standards. However, Venus is team, teen, teeming with exuberant life and highly evolved civilizations. 
Venus has sophisticated environments, technologies that protects its colonies. It this these beautiful people coexist in complete harmony. Venus has no war, is completely um a and has either money systems, has has neither money systems nor fraud. Okay, similar to these distant cosmic cousins, the Pleiadians, the Venusians also have a tarnished history. Before they collected, shifted their consciousness of frequency, the Venusians' egos nearly wiped out the entire bloodline out of almost total and totally destroyed their homes, planets, which forced them to wake up and ascend. Venusians reside in a higher astral realm of the fourth dimension, which somewhat parallel in appearance to the three, to the third, only more alive, luminous, and enlightened. Due to their activated consciousness, they are able to be fully present in their ether ick light body form for uh um if they desire okay they can be in their own body form if they desire okay <clears throat> okay they can also manifest into the 3d material body if they choose <laughs> shape shifting shape shifting okay shape shifting they are very psychic and extremely empathic they are masters of manifestations. A structure form of telepathy tele, telepath is used for communication which the Venusians community. Within their community, they telepath with each other. So they may not say their words and their each and each other, but they could telepathically tell each other stuff and communicate in their community. And some people have that now today. I don't know what they call it, but they call it the Venusians. Um, ET signals. Told you, I told you, y'all change y'all frequency. We on the radio station now with the radio in here. When they talk about frequency, listen to high rational music. The frequency that your mind is on will be the frequency similar to or about your frequency um, levels in in, in my sight. Train your brain to stay focused. Okay. Now they're talking about the 3D versus the 4D. Because see, 3D is lower than the 4D. Okay, that's what they're saying now. When you low vibe, he can shape shift if he choose to go lower than it. He want to be. You know what I mean? It's comfortable because we're in the 3D. It's more comfortable for him there. Okay? More than the 4D because it's more luminous where he was. And more exuberant. And then they said it was more something else there. You know. It was more alive, more luminous, and more enlightened there in the 4D. So just imagine if you at the 4D and you feel more enlightened than you is at the 3D. Because okay? this is where you can challenge yourself in this energy. Like, like remedial. You know, we don't have to keep learning the same thing over and over and over again. This is how they're teaching it to you. I don't even know. That's how they this is coming out of the book now. Now, this talks about romance, unconditional love, empathy, soulmates, um, twin flames, mutual attractions, true love, open heart, dating, courting, marriage, and self-love. In the flip of this, it talks about unrequited love, talks about infatuations and crushes, it talks about obsessions, it talks about heartbreak, Closed heart and heart and breakups. Here talks about in the vegans. 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 I hope you're here. Number 23. Okay. We ready. <clears throat> okay, these vegans here. That's that ethnic family. That's our Egyptian families. Okay. Vegan beings reside on earth. 
and are called Alpha Lyra, the brightest star of North Laura's constellation. Vegas may have its own solar system. Vegan beings are ancestral fugitives from the ancient Laura Dorcom Wars. They peaceful they peacefully do not participate in any galactic politics or wars and take a neutral stance to the complex dramas. They are culturally round, 250 years ahead of the Pleiadians and stand five to seven foot tall. Vegan beings are highly self-sufficient and are very auto um, Atone, auto autonomous civilizations. They are spiritually guided by the um, Andronia or uh, Andronia Council. Andronia, Andronia Council. The vegan beings are naturally healers and care deeply toward nature and the natural environment. There. Um, so these beings are, you know, like we have here on earth, like the vegan people, they only eat plant, but remember plants are living things as well. Yeah. You say you don't want to eat no, um, animals, but you eating a living thing, a plant, a, a, a anything that was created by, in, by the divine is all his things so it's living no matter what it if he created it okay so you say you only eat that but that's what you eat you know there's no controversy on what you eat and that's what you eat okay but you need nutrients too okay they saying you need the malabsorptions when you don't have certain types of you know our land and soil in a certain way with y'all you know vegan and people i don't know what y'all eat what y'all have to eat but i have not you know studied that much into it i'm just giving you the message i'm just message okay <laughs> message that's all okay and he said that most vegans be um beings are humanoids though some hybrid vegan beings have genetic characteristics of nearby et's astral terrestrial energies Energy means retreat, neutral, solitude, self-directed, um, independent, resourceful, privacy, peace, a political, a political may not you against you don't go you neutral and family and sovereign. On the flip, you are submiss submission politically extremist war defeat bias and um fantical okay fantical okay fantical people i got you number um 37 let's go y'all some fantical people i got i gotta study what that mean y'all see because that, that got a harbor on me they got i gotta make them tell me what that is so i may be listening for a second y'all all right so star seed self memory identity Okay, you know, self is about self now. Okay, I told y'all what that was, didn't I? Many star seeds have an inner awareness level of consciousness deep inside of their, their mainstream character from their mainstream character. I told y'all what that was. I don't have to tell y'all about that no more. Our guardians, that's the last one. I'm sorry, y'all. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Our guardians. These are guardians are telesons and ancestors where initial Alatarians uh, is all uh, y'all uh Lamarians, refuge survivors from the uh, Atlantis destructions. Our guardians are now a highly advanced, multi-dimensional, and sophisticated civilization that resides inside of the press. Theme core of the hollow earth. Uh, Telos is one of the divines um, 
Citadels of the Argarthians location beneath Mount Shasta, where they live a fruitful, serene, and abundant lifestyle for superior to subsurface dwellers. Their typical stands anywhere from anywhere up to 12 feet in height. Inner Earth's flora, fauna, and vegetation is the finest and purest natural quality from anywhere. Okay, all right, they're talking all about this stuff. And it says, ah, uh, da, 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 and the centadels and crystallines and magic to the eyes while being totally free from any toxin whatsoever. The Gartharsians mostly avoid traveling to surf earth surface earth due to the energetic harshness and toxins through they do visit when need be. Our Garthians are looking forward to the human collections ascensions of consciousness, which cosmo cosmically also affects all ETs according to their development level. They will be um, practicing in the cleanup cleaning up of the human the healing of the human surface dwelling so see we going deep now listen y'all i don't know if y'all caught that or not we going to some listen now now they're going to get you to clean up yourself from the subconscious mind because these people govern your subconscious mind when you get there. And they're waiting for you to awaken to what is going on around you. Like when I told you the message yesterday, you might have missed the story because I was telling you about the divine masculine. When you should have been focusing on yourself, on self-love, on loving you, figuring out what your next goal was going to be. Not worrying about that next, what that masculine doing. Cut him off. And I guarantee you he'll come back chasing. But when you pay attention, calling, seeking, when you put your attention on you and take it off of them, it becomes about you again. Okay? So I, if I could tell you a thing or two about a thing or two about getting and keeping a man. Okay? I, I may not want one right now because I'm busy. I've got things I'm doing. Right now, okay. Oh, wait, 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 y'all. Ho, ho, ho. I, I went too fast, y'all. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Go back. All right, bet. They told me go back. Okay, I was going too fast, y'all. So we came in the energy with the horned cactus, right? Of resource. Fullness, right? We got that resourcefulness under this star seed. We got diving deep here. Eye of the needle of intentional intentionality, along with rising above the fray. The under rise, the eye of the eagle rising above the fray. So rising above the fray is rising above, above narrow mindedness, small thinking. OK, thinking outside of the box, because that's what they're talking about, because manifesting multidimensional um, perception, attunement. So that means you got to be in tune with things. You got to be on time. Like, you know, like you got like when they tell you, you got to know what time it is. Yeah, you got to know what time it ain't. No, just you, you know what time it is like we dancing in a song. No, we no for real. Like, do you know what time it is like? That's what they want you to know. Sky dancers. This is surrendering. If you don't know, you better know. That's what they trying to tell you. I don't know. But that's what they said. These ain't. Because this is thorny. This is the river. This is deep. Deep diving into the test. So are you going deep into the situation to figure out how, what is the best laid plan? Is what they saying. With vegans, they, they want to make sure that, oh, it's about environmental friendly. You know, they tall people. They told me six foot to 12 foot. And these other people over here is 12, 12 foot and, and 8 to 18 foot. Shit, they are tall people. You can't miss them. Okay? <laughs> you can't miss them. But you can miss them. How about that? If you ain't looking up. If you looking down, how can you see something that's tall? You wouldn't know how tall it was if you was looking down now, would you? Nope. Told you we ain't pecking no more. We got our head held high. Grab yourself by the chin or grab a friend and tell her to hold her head up high. Hold your head up high. Who? Why are we looking down? What is down there? Hold your head up high. Okay. 
that's why you all know that these perfect people is 12 feet to 18 feet because you got your head looking down instead of got your head looking up with the eagle using your higher self and they told you be above 4d like 4d below 